Did you know that this Wednesday, January 12, the Iowa State Cyclones will play the undefeated Kansas Jayhawks? No. The Kansas Jayhawks will be playing for number one in the nation. Did you know this? No. The Kansas Jayhawks, coached by Larry Brown in the 80s, never won at Hilton Coliseum in four tries. Did you know this? No. It just so happens that Iowa State, who have won four conference championships since 1996, are hungry and would like to win. Yes. This is not likely, though. No, it isn't. In fact, since 2001, when Iowa State won the Big 12 regular season and Big 12 tournament, the ISU has not finished in the top half of the Big 12 but one time. Did you know this? Of course not. Did you think that I am a follower of Cyclone basketball? Only a Iowan would know these answers and it is a Hawkeye State. The Cyclones call it Cyclone Nation, when the only nation they really are responsible to is the United States. Regardless, the game is important. The Iowa State Cyclones are coached by NBA star Fred Mayer Hoiberg, and the Hoiberg wants to win. This is all he is used to. Oh. Now, considering the odd smokers have the KU as a heavy favorite, because the lowly 13-3 and three Cyclones have lost too many games to be ranked, and have not won against quality opponents to someone. This is more games than the Hawkeyes won all of last year. What are you saying? That the Hawkeye State is now over, and that the Cyclones are a winning team? Precisely. Then, what are the Associated Press thinking? The Iowa State has lost to Northern Iowa, Cal Berkeley, and Nebraska. These are hardly the bottom of the pool. Yes, but considering the margins of victory in those games was average less than three points, and that two of the games were on the road, don't you think that they deserve a ranking if they beat the Jayhawks? Yes. And don't you think that, since the Hoiberg is the coach, that he will win? Yes. And don't you think that, since the Hilton Magic is back, that the Hoiberg and the Cyclones will win more than expected? Yes. And don't you think that, since Johnny Ors is in the Hilton Coliseum, that Ors will be a home base for a celebration over a ranked opponent this year? Yes. Now, considering the odds of the Kansas Jayhawks to win another game get smaller as the season goes on that propensities for the next win are smaller than each previous game? Yes. I do not think the Kansas will win 35 games in a row. More likely they will lose to someone in the Big 12 Conference. Then, you must agree, since the Iowa State Cyclones are 13-3, and, and that the last game was a loss, that they are due for a win? Yes. Then, the Kansas, whom have won all of their games this season have a declining propensity to win again and again. Yes. So, you believe that the Kansas will have one loss on Thursday? I see the point you were trying to make. The Kansas has won all the recent games and you are mad and being buffaloed by the numbers and odd makers who relive their glory days at mediocre colleges and universities by voting for the mediocre colleges? Have you gone mad? No. This is precisely the point. The Hilton Coliseum is not the problem. The Allen Fieldhouse is the problem. The monetization of the amateur collegiate athlete in values towards the subsidization of student athletes is a disease. Amateurism means that you are not supposed to play for money. The Hilton Coliseum sold tickets for $39 maximum today. So? The Kansas University sold tickets for the same game, but at the Allen Fieldhouse, Forget this, $800 on a ticket broker's website today. So, you were saying because the middle class is dying monetarily, that the Kansas has unfair advantage? Precisely. Not only do the Kansas Eden fan base overpay, but they are self-aggrandizing and filthy ungrateful morons. Can you cite an example? Yes, the Bob Dole. The Kansas City Chiefs wear the colors of the University to the north, while the Kansas Jayhawks wear the colors of the Royal Blue Royals. I think the self-aggrandizing is there. So, they think they are royalty. Wait, but the Kansas City Royals are not the shiz. They are Major League Baseball's most pathetic team. Precisely. So, you are believing in a transcendence? Yes. And you believe the Cyclones will win? Yes. Logic, tell me the Kansas will win. Funny. 
even after I have told you all of the proclivities involving the Kansas and the Cyclones in the basketball game here, that you think the Kansas will still win, why? Logic. Even if logic is used in assuming the game's outcome, the logic that you used is the wrong logic. The logic that you should use is the Cyclones will win. Why? Because the prevailing logic can only be seen by the outcome, the preceding logic can influence the game. Therefore the Cyclones will win. Why? According to most, Kansas winning 20 games in a row is unlikely. Therefore in the next four games, the Kansas will have to lose. Not even the brothers McMullen could save them. Only one team will win 20 in a row this year, this is likely. Therefore the Kansas must lose at a rate of .25 or greater over the next four games. This will allow the Cyclones to win. Why? Because the facts are hidden. The truth is there. The Kansas will lose. Okay, the Kansas will lose one game before 20 in a row. Who do they play? They play Nebraska, Baylor, and Texas after the Iowa State University. So? The idea is that the Kansas will fart on the heads of Nebraska and the Baylor with either the road game versus the Iowa State or the game versus the Texas Longhorns will be the loss. This is likely. The Kansas Jayhawks don't want to lose to Texas. This is because the 12 ranked Longhorns and the Kansas are on national television. So? This means that all in all, with points leading to one, that all remains equal in the universe because of its infiniteness, and the fact that the seasons still change during the equinox, the Kansas will lose. The Hilton magic will be restored to the Coliseum and the Cyclone Alley will remain, albeit, the Hoiberg must do what he will to win the game, because, after all is said and done. Either that or I will call my buddy that was at the Goldman Sachs last fall whom is now plowing snow off the Greenwich Mansion's driveways. What was his name again? His name is the William Dunsely Snowplow Service. And what does he have to do with the game? Anything. Considering that both Iowa State and the Kansas have friends in high places, and with Kansas Hamato the Manhattan they have already lost. This is because the Iowa State knows the William Dunsely. Why? Because they have friends in high places. This also means that, since the William Dunsely gave 500 billion to the Goldman Sachs by an order of the Ben Bernanke, the Fed chairman whom has no business experience and does everything to slow us down, and the fact that the William Dunsely now lists snow removal as his occupation, things are getting better with the Iowa State and the Hoiberg. This is because he is either retiring or the Goldman Sachs do not want a snow plow because they have no need for one on the Madison Avenue in the Wall Street. Remember, when considering the Cyclones' greater propensities towards a March date in the dance, they must win eight games to assure them of a dance in all totality. Ah. So the Kansas will lose to the Cyclones, the Hoiberg and the William Dunstley? Likely. They have the Bob Dole as their secret weapon from 1996, when the Cyclones said, no muzz, to the Kansas by defeating them in the Big A championship. Of course, the Bill Clinton won. He is in the William the Conqueror family of Charlemagne, which almost 85% of all presidents are related to. The Oracle of Iowa is even better than Nebraska or the Kansas. Why? Because the Oracle will predict the future of the meek and the faithful, the Cyclone fans, only I must stop with that. But why? The Warren Buffett is the Oracle of Omaha. The Thomas H. Lee is the Oracle of Boston and New York. The Sam Walton is the Oracle for Missouri, and so on. Only the Warren Buffett is a home motto in Thomas H. Lee, because the Lees go to West Point, and we do not have a greater war in our own nation than the Civil War. Therefore, the Lees and Washington are in on the Warren Buffett and the Nebraska, who are home motto in the Lees, because they do not have a name like Washington, Davis, Grant, or Lee. They are the Warren Buffets, whom share a name with the Jimmy Buffets. I see it now. Therefore, the Iowa State Cyclones will win the game? Precisely, the FD phenomenon is another reason why. The Novo Rish want to win the money that the Brahmins set out in pools for the free to bargain their way to the tops of the business machines. So they send the most powerful kids to Boston or NY. The rest of the country is flyover, including the Kansas and the Iowa State. The main difference here is that the Kansas is the Sabamo to the Buffett. They are not independent. 
there are winners in Wichita from the Berkshire Hathaway. The Jayhawkers are another name for the Lincolns. Only the Kansas City was in the slave state, Missouri. The Jayhawkers fought southern sympathizers in the area across the Missouri. Therefore, because Iowa is north of the states at the 42 parallel, the county of numbers post-Civil War is likely to fund more winners in the Iowa state. After all, the Holy Rome was established to be all sovereign. The Missouri was not. Therefore, since the Jayhawks marry the South, they must be under a leader. The South were under a leader. So was New Orleans. So was New England. So was South Carolina. They were all winners. The Kansas will lose. I'm certain this is true, because the Jayhawkers show North, they must be in New York, where York wants. The Bill Self Show is on in New York City. They have already lost. Why? Because of the William Dunsell lie. The Iowa State know the William Dunsell lie. Therefore the Kansas will lose. The Iowa State also know that Thomas H. Lee, whom, like Warren Buffett had more than 30 billion tuck away. Why will the Lee win? Because the Lees know the Davises, who know the Lincolns, who know the Buffetts. The main difference being that Tom Lee had rich friends, while the Oracle of Jayhawker shows off, the Yalers know him. So? The Jayhawks have already lost. Why? Marcus Morris is overrated. This is in the William J. Dunsell I knows the Cyclones, which the Kansas fans who moved to New York were looking for. Only Iowa State beat them. The Iowa State Queen takes pawns and knights among others. So? The hounds to the hunters. The Kansas lost. The Iowa State had Gene Chizik. Sometimes when you lose, you win. Sometimes the opposite. But the Hoiberg is likely going to be nominated for Rookie Coach of the Year in the nation. Why? Because the Bill Self Show is on in Manhattan, the Manhattanites are raining while the Kansas moved there. Their baseball team sucks in Kansas City. This might be why. The Kansas will lose if they realize they are in denial. Again, the William Dunsela moved over 500 billion to the Goldman Sachs. Whom are the top of the top? Kansas, a mediocre Big 12 school, are unallowed. The 500 million was moved in one day. So, really? The Bernanke, the Obama, the Iowa State are in cahoots. Yes, the political power of Iowa has risen to a higher degree because of the advent of satellite TV and 500 channels. The Bernanke and the Obama have Iowa connections that, while they campaign for a future, Kansas has the dull. Kansas will lose. Let's hope for the future of America and Cyclone Nation. Yes. Let's hope for world peace too. But that is another subject for another time. Goodbye.